And I'm, I'm going to read these scriptures for you, and then we're going we gonna, to we gonna talk a little bit. And it's going to be good for some. It's going to be something that we all need. But it's found in 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verses 22 through 27. And we know this is a writing of Paul, and Paul, he was very familiar with God, and, and he let God use him. It says this, to the weak, and I'm reading in the King James Version, it says, to the weak became I as weak, that I might gain the weak. I am made all things to all men, that I might by all means save some. And this I do for the gospel's sake, that I might be partakers thereof with you. Know ye not that they which run in a race run all, but one receiveth the prize. So run that ye may obtain. And every man that striveth for the mastery is tempered in all things. Now they do it to obtain a corruptible crown, but ye an incorruptible. 26, therefore, I, therefore so run, not as uncertainly, so fight as not as one that beated the air. But I keep, un, I keep under my body and bring it unto submission, lest that by any means, when I have preached to others, I myself should be a castaway. The grass withered and the flower faded thereof, but the word of our God stands forever. Thank you so much, brother. We know that this is, uh, this is Tabernacle Week. And uh, we get excited, we're excited about that, we, 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 and we should be. And, and the subject of this is, are you in the race? Are you in the race? And being this Tabernacle Week, we know that the Tabernacle was a, a portable sanctuary. But more than that, it was a place where God met his people. If God would come now, now, now I mean, we're not talking about you dying or nothing. If God, God would just come in and say, I want to meet with you, what's the first thing will come across your mind? The first thing will come across your mind. If God would say, I'm coming to meet with you, Brother Arthur, what's the first thing going to come across your mind? You know what the, the first thing came across my mind? I'm not worthy. I'm not, I'm, I'm not worthy. He, he coming to meet me? What have I done? What, what have I done? Nobody would have to tell you to start repenting. Because you say, God, God say, I'm coming to talk with you, Brother Carl. Oh, Lord. We're going to think in our mind and say, what have I done? What, what, what are you coming for? It, it, it's, it's our human nature. We don't, we, we, now the church folk, you know, when, you, when, you, when you're real church, you're going to say, oh, hallelujah, me and God going to meet. Or, you know, I'm, I'm sanctified, filled with the Holy Ghost, sin free. No, we're going to say, what I've done? What, what, what is, is, is every T crossed, every I dotted? Did, did, I, did I do everything that he said for me to do? And, and when you think about that, we, we, it, it, it should make you tremble on the inside and say, oh, I better get to work. But this, I, 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 are you in the race? Paul comes talk to these, these Corinthians. He says, he, and he gives them an analogy about, about racing and running because the, 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 the Romans and the Greeks, that's what they, they, they do. They were athletic. You know, they, they, they thought they could really do it, but some other people came along, some Hebrews came along and showed, you're fast, but you're not that fast. But let's look at, let's look at, 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 that, at that verse. And I, we don't have no point. When you hear something that you want to write down and remember, write it down. Y'all got a pen? Y'all write down. See, that's a point I want to remember. The first th thing we see in this thing, th in this lesson is, Paul opened uh, up on verse 22. He says, what? To the weak became I as weak. Now, normally when people read this scripture, when you read all this, you say to the, the Jews, I became a Jew. You know what we're thinking about? Well, Paul came on everybody's level. When, when 
when he, we met the drunk, he was on the drunk list. Paul didn't get drunk. It, it, that's not, that's not, he's he not talking about I'm going to get drunk with the drunk and I'm going to go gamble with the ones that gamble. I'm a, I'm a, a drunk. No, he's not going to do that. He came on a level spiritually. He said, in essence, Paul saying, I'm not going to condemn you. I'm going to walk right on side you so I can help you. And I opened up with this. He said, because I'm weak. He said, when I'm weak, weak says, says this, without strength. And there's another a verse, another definition to put it. He said, to the infirm. How many, how many of y'all would, would, would declare that you are infirm? Handicapped? Crippled? We, we, don't, we don't want to raise our hand, Brother Chay, because you know what? But we're all handicapped. Because sin handicapped all of us. Sin has handicapped and crippled all of us. Other than that, Christ wouldn't have had to die for us. But we all, we, we all crippled. We all got a limp like Jacob. We all got a thorn in our, se- our side like Paul. We got something in our eye. We, 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 we are the infirm. And Paul said this, to the weak came I as weak. He didn't come out there to tell you, he said, well, uh, Mr. Cripple, you do No, he said, I, I'm, I'm going to show compassion. I'm going to get right with the weak. Weak and in, in wild. Spiritually, he said, weak in, in strength. Spiritually, some of us are just not strong. And if you want to gauge yourself, just ask yourself, how many times you panic when things went bad? We, we're, not, we're not, some of us, just, we're just not strong in some areas. You, you get that, that light, you say, I thought I paid that light bill. That new, in three days it'll be cut off. And, oh, I don't get paid till next week. We panic. We, we, we're, not, we're, not, we're not as strong as we think we are. We look at those situations and say, well, I can handle it. Now, if Brother Carl in trouble, I can tell him, just stay on your knees, son, and keep praying the Lord's going to make a way somehow. And he'd be glad to hear that. But if, when it come to my house, oh, Jesus. I don't want to hear no, no, no funny statement. I don't need to hear no, I need some help. And you see, that shows that we're not as strong spiritually as we think we are. Because spiritually, the word should come up in us. The word should pop up in us. The word should do that. As soon as they come in there, God got this. He'd have made a way before. He can do it again. Now we can sing the song, but when trouble knock at your door, oh, I don't want to sing. I don't want to sing what you want. I, we panic because we, we, we're, not, we're not as stable as we think we are. We're not as spiritual as we think, but we don't like to confess that we're weak. And until you admit that you're weak in something, you can never be built up in it. You, you're not going to look to be strong because you think you're all right. Not only that, you can be weak in faith. You can be weak in faith. I believe. I believe. I believe this situation is going to change. I believe it's going to change in a week. Bear, in three days, he's going to come through. Five days later, he ain't coming, he ain't coming, he ain't coming. Lord, what I'm going to do? We panic. Our faith is weak. Paul said, where you weak at, that's where I'm going to come. Paul going to come and tell you, I, I, I didn't have the faith that I, I was believing the wrong things. He came into, yeah, yeah. Like when he talked with the, 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 the Jews, he said, yeah, they talked about the law. He said, I, I was an advocate of the law. I knew all the laws. I walked in the law. And, and, and when they talked the law, he, he could name them. Paul just rattled them off. Rattled them. Yeah, I, but you know, the law showed me where I was wrong, but it didn't save me. Then he can come in with the gospel and say, until Christ died for me and he met me on the Damascus road, then I understood what salvation was really about. I, it put the law in the right perspective because he was the fulfillment of what I couldn't do. And when he could, it, it didn't bother Paul. Paul said, whatever condition you're in, I'm going to come in and talk to you. What about riches? Weak in riches. We, he's not talking about your bank account. He talking about your spiritual. I think uh, 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 Minister Phil talked about it uh, last week. How, how, how are your riches? You rich in patience? Rich in temperance? You rich in love? How's your peace? You rich in, you rich in that? You rich in your joy? Only for a moment. When the wind starts to blow, you start to lose your joy. You lose your peace. 
And, and, and it's something about a, a, a storm that when it's way off, we say, oh, it looks like it's going to rain. When it, oh, it looks like, oh, goodness, oh, this look like, this looking bad. And the pressure start to build up in you. And, and I, I remember when we was kids, uh, and some of y'all that's old enough to remember, they'd be, we go, sit down, don't move. God doing his work, don't you move. Cover up that mirror. And we run around the house throwing sheets and stuff over the mirror. <coughs> the storm was coming. You, you, but what you gonna cover you with when the storms of life coming? When the storms of life, it, 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 you can't, it, just cause you sit down don't make them stop. They gonna, they gonna, the wind's gonna keep blowing, the wind's gonna keep beating, the lightning gonna keep flashing. We have to be spiritually prepared. But sometimes we weep. We weaken knowledge. We weaken knowledge. We don't know enough. And, 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 and it's sad when, when, you, when you think you know and you don't know. Somebody trying to tell you, and you, 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 you ever had that person you tell, hey, no, this is what you, I got it, 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 I got it. And then they go, it don't, I was trying to tell, well, no, no, I got it, I got it. I got it. It's, it's so aggravating because you got to go step at a time. Every time you get rid of it, no, I got it, I got it, I see, I see now. And then the next, oh, where did peace go? They don't have it. They don't have the, but we as a people, you know what? We don't like nobody to show us what to do. We, 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 we got to get that out of us, that, that, that self-righteousness. I, 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 know, I know I'm right. I know I'm doing the right thing. I know it until you mess it up. Uh, can you help me, Brother Carl? I, this, uh, uh, oh, that's what I was supposed to do. Now you got to go buy another piece because you done messed up the, the other one. We don't have the knowledge of something and too much pride gets in the way so we can't ask for help. I'm weak. When you read the rest of that verse, look what it says. What, what the rest of that verse said, what? That I might gain the wheat. I am made all things to all men that I might by all means save some. A beautiful writing right there. Because no matter how you try, you're not going to save everybody. No matter how many sermons you, you tell them, you teach them, and, and those of us who, who have children, we know, no matter how many times you tell them, if, if you got one, you might be all right, but if you got four, five, three, four, five, it's always one that's gonna always turn the other way. There's always one. That, that, that for some reason, it's like all the others got the common sense, and he got some common sense, but he don't like to use it. He try to put it aside. We try to try to shove it on the Well, I really don't need that. But it, we try to save what? All. But Paul said that I might save some. And sometimes we can wear ourselves out trying to save somebody that don't want to be saved. We frustrate ourselves and aggravate ourselves. I, I know, that, you know, I'm, I'm just going to, like they say, you got to be spirit and truth. We got to tell the truth. You're not going to save everybody. We're we, we going to try, but we're going to do our best. But guess what? We're not going to save everybody. But let that not be one of you. Come on now. Yes, sir. We got to be willing to say, I want to be the one that gets saved. Yeah. Salvation. Save, save, salvation. We, we are, we, how many times we done heard save, salvation? <clears throat> and salvation comes immediately. Granted, immediately by God. When you're serious about God and say, Lord, I'm a sinner. I'm, I, I need saving. Uh, uh, deliver me, I confess my, we go through the ABC, immediately you see. But that's not the end of it. We got to realize what Christ really has done for us. And I think sometimes we don't appreciate the sacrifice that was made to buy us. We don't, we don't appreciate, when, when, when give somebody something that don't cost them nothing to see what happens. Anybody got some children you don't you done gave a, a, a vehicle to, or let them do, do, do and, and what, you get, you say, what the now? What happened? Oh, it, you know, kind of, you know, kind of got scratches. You gonna wash it? They, 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 they ask for things, and when you, if, they, if it don't cost them nothing, oh man, but now let them pay for it. Don't put your hand on that, don't put your hand on it. Don't put your hand on it. Don't put your hand on that. And I think we, we need to realize what Christ paid for us. 
And then we would, we would tell Satan, don't put your hand on this. Don't put your hand on me. No, I, I've been bought with a price. Don't put your hand on me. Don't come. Don't come. We would be more vigilant in protecting what God has bought. But we don't realize the price that he paid. Let, 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 let's keep going. He said, Paul said this here. And, and see, this, this is going quick. We're in verse 23. Verse 23, what it says, And this I do for the gospel's sake that I might be partakers thereof with you. Paul showed us something that Paul said, now, what I'm doing is not for me. What I'm, what I'm, what I'm, when I'm sacrificing and coming to the, the level of other people, when I'm doing, because Paul was educated. But Paul said, I, I throw my knowledge aside to help somebody. I'm, I'm not going to come up here with uh, $17 words when I'm talking to somebody with a second grade education. You, you're never going to win them. If you could, they're going to be saying, what did he say? Because you want, you want to show that you you educated and you, got, you can use words this long that you need the spelling bee people to spell it for you. Because they're amazed, man. Them kids, they, they missing some words. I said, I never heard that word in my life. And you got an eight-year-old saying, uh, can you tell me the origin? The origin? What the, how that's going to help you, son? Where is Greek? Oh, it's Greek, and he named off about 18 letters don't, that don't, and that's correct. I said, whoa. I, he got some knowledge. But the, the thing is, he's, under, he's understood that the, the language tells how the alphabet would be lined up. Whether it's Spanish, whether, or it's Italian, whether it's Greek. Whether, and and when, when you know that, you, you know, these teachers that's hooked on phonics, they know that. See, Ms. Iola, she knows. She said, yeah, yeah, that's, that's simple. They can get it. But I'll never get that. But you got to be able to say, you know what? What, for, for the gospel's sake, yes, sir. I'm going to do this. Yes. For the gospel's sake. We have people that rub us the wrong way, and we won't share the gospel. Well, that's them. But for the gospel's sake, yes. Paul said, I'm going to give up this for the gospel's sake. It's not, it's not about me. I, I don't, I'm not going to gain nothing from this. Woo. Paul said, I'm not looking for nothing from this. Because... When God met him, he was going the wrong way. Christ stopped him, turned him around, had to blind him to do it. And when he got, when he got his sight back, he said, I'm on the right road. I'm finna run. I'm finna run for Christ. And, and we have to be the same thing. I want to do what I do for the gospel's sake. Because if it's for you and, and, and your gratification, that ain't going to last too long. Because not only that, but you see, some people gonna, don't notice that. They're going to see you and say, why are they, they going to why they gonna try to tell themselves? Why, why? And they're going to be watching. And you go, are you saved? Do you believe? What well, you sitting in church? You got a Bible? You been in there? Go on the street over there. Go, you see that corner around there when you pass a, a McDonald's? Yes, and go a little way and then take a ride down uh, Louisiana Avenue? Then branch out in that neighborhood. Pass the post office to the left in that project? Go over there. And, and, and try to draw men to Christ. You want to, you, Ooh. Brother Carl, say what? Well, Brother Carl, do you know the Lord and the, and the pardon of your sins? He's sitting right here. He's been in, in church. No, go out there where they need you at. For the gospel's sake. For the gospel's sake. Now, when, when he said for the gospel's sake, look, look what else he said in that. He says, uh, uh, I want to get to this verse here. He says that, uh, uh, oh, verse 24. Know ye not that they that would run a race run all, but one receiveth the prize. So run that ye may obtain it. Everybody run. How many of y'all have been to a track meet? Yeah, if you went to school, you should have went to at least one track meet. <laughs> Go to one, or watch it on TV, the Olympics. You saw, they, it, when they, when they trying for the Olympics, it's hundreds of people out there from all these countries getting out. And when it's all over, in the hundred yard dash, ain't but three of them, a bronze, a silver, and a gold. Yes, sir. You got 300 people trying out for the thing in all these countries, and they get, when they run this, you didn't make it. You didn't make it. Now you've been training, you've been doing all these things, and you know what? Ain't but three people gonna get a prize in the Olympics. They don't, fourth and fifth, they don't. How many of y'all know who came out fourth in the hundred yard dash? No, no, don't nobody keep that name? You, you was forward. You was fifth. I know you ran in the Olympic. Well, I was the Olympic track man. What, what you came out? I came out six. Okay, all right. 
They want the one with the prize. How many of y'all want the prize? Now you see, when he said about the prize, <clears throat> he goes further to tell them. He says in, in verse 25, because we're going to come back to that running the race. Cause now, are you, are, you, are you in the race? Are you running the race? Okay, we're all, we all in the race. Now he says, you're going to get a crown. Look at verse 25. And every man that striveth for the master is tempered in all things. Now they do it to obtain a corruptible crown. But ye an incorruptible. You're running, for, you're running a race. We, we, those of us that save, because that, that, when you become saved, you get in the race. Yes, sir. Now, if you're running a race, you're going for a prize. Yes. The thing is, in the, in the track meet, ain't but one going to win. Right. Yes. So if you know somebody that's faster than you right now, just about, oh, just about all of them faster than me now. <laughs> I believe I can take Ed, though. I believe I, I, believe I can get Ed. But, but they're all faster than me. But if, if, if you know that, how much energy you got to go in there and race? You, you, you see, well, now, all of them, they, 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 them boys running a 9, 8, and a 9, 6, and you had a 14, something. You see, I, what's the use? I, I know I can't. I know I can't be. But with Christ, he's saying, we all can get a crown. He said, you can all have an incorruptible crown. We got, we got some crowns. And Pastor did this, uh, uh, I think the first part of the year or maybe the end of last year. He went over the crown, the crown of life, the crown of righteousness, the crown of glory, uh, the crown of rejoicing, the inter incorruptible. He went over those things. He talked about those crowns. Now, Paul here said, you can run and you can get a crown. We all can get a crown. But there's some certain things got to be met. Yes, so we got we to go back. Now, the prize is available. And y'all say y'all in the race. Yes. How many of y'all been trained? How many of us been trained? Oh, y'all don't want to raise your hand. This Bible class, this Bible study. Y'all yeah. been trained? You, you, you got to be, be trained. Those, those soldiers, when they got in there, they had, those, those men, they had to be trained. And, and those of you who know track, I know uh, uh, Brother Cal, Deacon Calvin, he know, there is, is a way you, you can't run with your hand all wild swinging like that. They're going to, they, they're going to, they're going to, they're going to pass you every time. You, you're fighting them when they, they, they're going to, it's a stride you got to take. I, 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 I came up with uh, uh, Rodney Milburn, he run the, he did the hurt. He came up, he was a few years older than us, but he used to go to J.S. Clark where we went to school at. And, uh, Coach Tatum used to be, was his coach, and he'd, he'd tell him, he'd have him stretched out on the ground with his leg folded like how they go over the high hurdle and the other one in the front. And he just doing that. He doing that. I said, man, that, just doing that. And he, he also told me, he said, you know what? You have to keep count your steps. Keep the same steps every time. And Rodney Milburn had to be about, I think about 6'2", six, 6'3". Six, but he long legs, and you see him up there, you say, he don't look like he could run, but when that whistle went off, he, he would take off, and, and you see, he about, he'd come about that high over the hurdle. That high over the, I mean, he just, just tried it, and they look at that, and they, you know you was coming out, second, third, fourth, because he, and he went to the Olympics, and he won it. But he trained for it. We ought to be training spiritually. And there were so many subjects we want, I wanted to talk about, but I, I picked one, prayer. Matthew 6, <coughs> 5, and 13, excuse me. Prayer. How many of us have been trained to pray? Trained to pray. You got to be trained to pray. Because you know what? Sometimes we pray against ourselves. Sometimes we pray against other people. You got, especially, and y'all know I'm, I'm going to bring up marriage every time I come up here. We, we get our spouse. And, and, and we don't know how to pray for them. We don't know how to pray to build them up that, that God or watch over. Watch over them. Keep them. Make them strong. Give them the vision that, that you want them to have. Let them see what you want to see. Let them, let them be all they can be so you can be pleased. If, guess what? If God pleased with them, I'm sure you're going to be pleased with them. But no, we don't, we don't do that. Lord, he's stubborn and hard-headed. He don't listen. 
Lord, if you can just, just move and, and make him see what I see, that, that's, 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 you're, not being, you're not being trained to pray for, and you see, you, you're praying against yourself because y'all, the two supposed to be one. So if you're praying that he go this way, guess where you going? You going the same way too. Because God said, y'all, y'all two going to be one. We got, you got to be trained to pray. You got to be trained to pray with consistency. <laughs> you got to be praying to, trained to pray with uh, 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 the persistence that, that don't give up when it's not answered when you thought it should be. Do, do you have, have you been trained to pray? Uh, uh, not, not just a routine. Where we can get up, now nah, I lay me down to sleep. I pray the Lord my soul to keep. And if I die before I wake, I pray the Lord my soul to take. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's, that's for them two-year-olds. And, and you, you got to be able to commune with God. Tell him exactly how you feel. That prayer, prayer is talking with God, not, not, not trying to, well, well, well Lord, uh, you know that, that spouse you gave me, I don't know. No, no, no. You, you got you to gotta communicate with God. And, and stay there long enough for him to tell you, you don't know what you're talking about. She love you. He love you. Stay there long enough for him to hear from him. We just, we, Lord, I told you about him. And, uh, amen. No, we don't, we don't stay long enough. We don't have that persistence to say, Lord, I want to know exactly what, what you're doing. Another thing we got we to gotta be trained in, studying. You're a Christian, you're running a race, you got you to gotta be trained to study. You got to know how to ask the what, when, where, why, how much. You got you to gotta go back into the, that's studying, that's, that's knowing. So when, you, when you're running a race, you won't be fooled when somebody's trying to tell you, oh, God didn't say this. Wait a minute, I studied that. I know exactly what God said. If you don't study to show yourself approved, that's 2 Timothy, what I got on there, 2 and 15, you, you're going to be tricked every time. You're in training. You're in training. You got to study while you're in training. You have to learn those things. Another one, worship. Every, every year we have a worship night. <clears throat> you, have to, you, you have to be trained to worship. You know, you know why we say trained to worship? Because worship takes humility. I didn't put that on there, but we're going to come back to it anyway. I didn't put it. Worship takes recognizing that you are nothing without God. Worship is saying that God has done so much for me, he deserves everything that I can give him. He got the cattle on a thousand hills. He got the gold and the silver. He, he got all power. I can't give him that, but I can give him my, my worship. I can give him my praise. I can give that to him. And that, guess what? God will be, be happy with that. Because he you know that's coming from you because you're in a race. And if you don't know how to worship in a race, a spiritual race, a Christian race, guess what? You're going to have trouble. You're going to have some stumbling blocks that are going to come in your way and you don't know how to get around them, but worship can get you around them. Worship can move them. Worship can get the mountains. Uh, uh, if it don't move the mountain, it can get you a tunnel to go through. But you got to know how, you got to know how to worship. Another thing we got to be trained to do. What's that? Follow. Ooh, don't say that. We got to be trained to follow. What's that? Let's read that scripture, 63 and, and 8. Psalm 63 and 8. I, I don't know if they got that. But you got to be trained to follow. Because you know what's hard about following? You think you should be the leader. 63 and 8. That, that's what I got, 63? Yeah, 63. My soul followeth hard after thee. Thy right hand upholdeth me. And I picked that, that scripture because you say, my soul, what's in me, is following after Christ. Not on my own ability, because his hand is holding me. So, so what I'm doing in that, I, I, I'm just following. If he got me in his hand, y'all remember we used to sing that song, he got the whole world in his hand? If he got me, if he upholding me in his hand, why, if I'm not following him, I'm trying to get out of his hand. What's going to happen to me if I get out of the hand of God? We have to learn how to follow. The problem, like I said, with following, we think we should be the leader. And the, when somebody say follow, you, you can have an opinion. But both, don't be disgruntled. They don't never know that what they're doing. They're, I, I, I wish I never got in. I, 
No. Learn to follow. Like Pastor always said, if you think you're going to lead, you better learn how to follow. If you want to lead, you got to learn how to follow. Because most of the time when you don't learn how to follow man, it's going to be difficult for you to follow God. Because you see, with man, we can see the way. We can see what they're doing. Oh, yeah, okay. But with God, God sometimes he puts you in the dark and says, follow me. Just, just listen to my voice and keep coming. And, and Lord is dark. No, just keep coming. And that's the way faith is growing. That's the way God does things. He, he, he ain't going to, well, let me explain everything to you. Like, like he always said, well, in, uh, in the year 2025, this is what I'm going to do for you. And I'm going to put you, no, no. He said, trust me. Well, Lord, I, the company I'm working for, they say they closed down. I, I'm, I'm not worried about that. Trust me. Follow me. Where I tell you to go, that's where you go. But we have a problem with that because we like to lead. And, and some of us just, what's the word? Just disgruntled. We, 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 we say, man, that's some beautiful sunshine out there. Yeah, I think it's going to rain in a few hours. <laughs> Boy, I, I'm glad this hot weather is going. I love the hot weather. I don't want that cold. We always find something to disagree because we don't want to follow. We don't want to follow and go alone. That does something to us to, to follow somebody, to, to let them lead us. Now, if they don't know where they're going, that's a different thing. Yes, sir. But if you're saved, if you're in Christ and you're running a race, we're all running the same race in different positions. Guess what? We're all going the same way. We're all after the same goal. We're trying to achieve a crown. And if that's what we need, we need to learn number six, forgiving. Forgive, 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 forgive. How difficult is forgive? Matthew 6, 14 and 15, you know what it said? If you don't forgive, I won't forgive. Yes, I'm, just some, I'm, I'm just paraphrasing it for what God what said. If, if you can't forgive, I'm not going to forgive your trespass. So now, you go back to the first one. How are you going to get an answered prayer when you can't forgive? God said, I'm waiting for you to forgive. They tie in. And if you're going to get tied in with one, you say, now, I'm going to forgive them, but I ain't going to forget it. You ain't forgive them. Because you want to remind them. Now, now, when you can remind me of something that happened 17 years ago, you, you ain't forget. You, you ain't forget. And you start to tell you, you remember when you had that blue and white shirt on and you attended it? What did you say? That, that was 17 years ago. Okay, all right. And you still remember? And we, we talking about this Why? Well, I, I forgave you, but I just want to remind you. That, that's what we do as a, I just want to remind you. Why? Because I want to put that knife right back in there when you, and, and I never let it go. And you say, I've been asking God for this, and he never answered. That might be the reason. Because you're unable to forgive. Now, that's some words I, I left off of that. I left off some, some words. Uh, uh, and I mentioned one, humility. <coughs> Because humility is something that we don't like. So I said, well, I'm not going to put humility on the, the list because we don't like to humble ourselves. We don't, we don't, we, and I'm, I'm especially to the member, the, the wife tell you something and you know it's right, but you didn't think of it first. God, we're not going to do that, babe. And then tomorrow, Kevin, we go in and say, you know what we should do? This is what we should, and she's saying, hmm. Didn't I just tell you that? We don't like to humble ourselves, so I'm not going to mention humility. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to mention. Another one I'm not going to mention is, uh, is giving. Oh, we tight, we tight, we tight, we tight. We, 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 we so tight in, in giving, we plan, you know what? I want to get something for Christmas so I can't lend you that $5. Christmas in December, we, we, we still, and, I, and we don't like to give. I, 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 didn't, I didn't put give on the list because give, when, when the Bible speaks about giving, God said, I want a cheerful giver. I, don't, I, I, I can't train you to be cheerful. Now, I can give, I, I, we used to give our kids off and go, make sure we go put that, that, that money, put that dollar in the offering. And I know they was walking around and saying, boy, you know what I could do with this dollar if you... <laughs> Because I did it when my mama gave me a quarter, put that in the offering. God, because you see, when I went to school, uh, uh, a zero wasn't but a nickel. I can get five of them rackets with a quarter. But, but you get that, okay. 
You put it in there and you're thinking about, man, what I can do with that. But God said, I want to cheer for giving. So I didn't, I didn't put giving on there because we, we, that's something you have to decide. Lord, I want to give because you've been so good to me. That's something I want to do for you. If, if I wouldn't even have it if you wouldn't have gave it to me. Because Let me see how that verse goes. It's better to give than receive. And the only way I can, did that, can get to that is because he had already given it to me. I done already received it. Now I'm going to give it to him. He's going to say, well, I'm going to give you some more. And then we're going we to give him some more. And, and what the old song said, you can't beat God's giving. No matter how you try. He, he, he will always outgive you. So I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, but it's, it's, it's you and your heart you got to put that in. And so I didn't, I didn't put giving on the, I didn't put giving on the list. One more I didn't put on the list. I didn't put love on the list. How did you train somebody to love? Those of us who, who are parents and we do stuff for our kids and we've seen it, and we say, all I show, and then, then I don't want that. You don't want that. We, 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 we try, love is something that you have to choose to do. The Bible says God so loved the, that he gave, he chose that we, we, we wouldn't even, he said, while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Now, he already know we're going to sin. He know that we ratchet and everything else, but he loves us enough to, to die for us. And then I, I say, well, no, we can't talk about love because love, love is something that we have to express willingly. Yes, sir. And, and we don't do that. We, we don't do that. You, 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 you mess around and say, you love, baby, I love you. I, I love you. And you walk in there and she done left the, or he done left the drawer open on the chest. Why you left, why you left? Well, I thought, thought you loved me. Yeah, I love for you to close the drawer. <laughs> why you left your plate on the table? Why, why, you, why you passed me? What you do? Love's, love's not supposed to stop when I rub you the wrong way. <laughs> when, I, when I don't do what you ask me to do, as fast as you told me to act, you asked me to do it, and I was thinking about doing it, but I didn't get to it yet. And now the love is gone. You reach over there and you know, come over here. Don't touch my hand. What's up, what's up with the love if, that's why I didn't put it on the list. I didn't put it on the, because you see, look, you have to choose to love. Even, even though I didn't do what you want me to do when you wanted me to do it, can you still love me? And, and Christ said, that, that's how I am. I ask you to, to love one another. You won't do that. I ask you to give. You won't do that. I bless you with abundance and you still won't give. I, 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 I make room for you for stuff that you don't even need, you don't want, but I bless you with desires of your heart. And all I ask you to do is love and you, you won't do that. So I didn't put love on the list. I said, we don't need to put love on the list because that's something we have to choose to do and we have to make up our mind, I'm going to love you regardless. You, 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 you don't dress like I want you, but I still love you. You don't comb your hair like I want you to do, but I still love you. You don't buy me all the things that I want. That's a, that's a hint there. <laughs> but I still love you. We got to love in spite of, but we love because of. Because you did this, guess what? I love you. Because you brought your check home, I love you. Because you fixed this for me, I love you. And when you stop doing that, we say, where has the love gone? But I ain't gonna put that on the list because we don't want to talk about love. We don't want to talk about, we got to talk about Beetle. We got to talk about condition. Condition. And those of us who's athletic or, or, or you played any ball or thing, there's something that's called a conditioning training. You see these football players, y'all that watch football, you know how hard them boys hit each other? And they get right back up. They get up and shake that off there and they, partner, he knocked you off your feet. He drove you in the ground, they get back up and, and cause you know why? They've been conditioned. After you do something so long, it's conditioned. When I was, when I was working, <laughs> my son just tell my, my, my wife she'd be cooking, and because I use my hands all the time, I, my hands was, I had calluses and they was tough. She said, oh, that pot ball, I just, 
and said it over. She said that to me, and I said, uh-uh. But now, nah. <laughs> turn the hot water on too long. Ooh, that water hot. I'm not in condition anymore. And Christians ought to be in condition. All the things we name, all the things we name, ask yourself, am I in the race and I'm, am I in condition? Are you in condition? When somebody goes by you and don't speak, Brother Ford, just walk right past you, are you in the condition that you can say, perhaps they didn't see me? Bless me, keep me going. They, they, they walk by you, Miss Brenda, and don't say a word. Can you, can you see them say, well, they, they might be having a bad day? Yes, sir. When you condition, you know what? You can find excuses for people doing you wrong. But when you're not in condition, oh boy, you got the nerve to walk past me after I help you with this and then, and you, you, they gonna stop and blow on you right there. We have to be in condition to what? To, to take it. I think, I'm trying to think of the scripture, say, thou therefore endure hardness like a good soldier. But when the hardness come, oh, we coming back. Are you in condition? Have you prayed enough to know that God going to answer your prayer? Have, have you been in condition enough to say, somebody come to you and say, uh, I'm sick, I'm not feeling well. Do you know enough word? Have you studied enough to say, let me pray for healing for you? Amen. Are you in condition to weather a storm? Can you, can you when the storm starts raining, and can, can you say, this too going to pass and stay calm? Conditioning. The hardest part of training is conditioning. Because you can run, and the first time you run that mile and stuff, you say, oh, goodness. Them, oh, man, all your muscles, your toe muscles hurt everything. Because, you know, you're not used to running. But once you get in condition, guess what? A mile. I would, I would never sign up to run the Boston Marathon. 26 miles, 20, them people out there mind. We have a thing they call fight or flight. If somebody come in, I'm just gonna fight, Carl. Because I'm not running. I, I, can't, I can't run like that no more. So they got, they, when they come and say, you gonna run? No, we gonna fight. Because I, 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 I'm not in condition to do, to, to, to do the running. But I, we, can always, we can always figure a way to fight. You know, I'd be like Fred Sanford. Let me see if that, that thing will work. Yeah, it still work. But, but conditioning of your mind and your spirit. How, how's your spirit conditioned? When people say something to you, do you come up with a spiritual answer or do you go in the flesh? Conditioning, conditioning. We got to have a response other than out of our temper, out of our flesh, out of ourself. And we don't have it. We, 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 we say, well, uh, you know, I serve in here. Yeah, good morning. Oh, the Lord is good. Praise him. Well, are you walked with me throughout the day yesterday and I know he's going to be with me today. Glory, hallelujah. But if they come and say, can you move out the way? Who are you talking to? Where's that spiritual conditioning? To, to, what, how, much, how far down is it? I'm going to say you got it because you're saved. You got the spiritual condition because you're saved, but how far down is it? We got to go all the way to your anchor to get that. And can, on, we've been fussing for three hours now. It's just coming up. Well, I'm just going to leave this in the Lord's hand. You've been fussing for three hours. <laughs> now you're going to leave it in the Lord's hand? No, no, it got to be right here. At your mouth, soon as that happens. Oh, Lord, the Lord going to take this because I can't, I, I, I don't know what else to say. The Lord can handle it. We're going to pray. But you got to be conditioned for that. You're you just not going to come up there and somebody brought you again. I dare you to do it again, man. What's wrong with you? That's, that's not that. You're not spiritually conditioned. For those of us who run in the race, that's in the race, you have to be spiritually conditioned. Because people are going to rub you the wrong. You, you're fighting against an enemy, and his name is Satan. He, he fight, and guess what? When he see you, you put your hands down, he going to punch you. Yes, sir. He dirty. He dirty. Yes, sir. If he can't get you, he hit your children. Yes, sir. And you, who done that to my... You, you want to see a parent go, <laughs> let somebody at school do something to their children. They're about to tear the school up. Find out what happened. Come there spiritually. Pray before you get there. Pray while you're going. Lord, show me the way. Show me what's, what's going on. Keep my temperament down. I'm representing you. I am 
running this race and I want my crown. I don't want to get to that school and cut up. And when you get there, you do, uh, uh, who, who do I speak to? Oh yeah, what happened? What, uh, explain. And then when you know your kid, you, that's him. Because he gonna say, I wasn't doing nothing. You're never not doing nothing. You're doing something all the time. But you, you have to have spiritual conditioning to be able to handle situations. Because Satan want to get us, especially. When you go to school and you got that cross on your on clothes, I, I walk with the Lord and the, the, the Lord is my shepherd and got all these spiritual, and then they hit you and you, they're going to say, you need to take the shirt off or turn it on the wrong side. <laughs> turn it on the wrong side. Don't, don't, rep don't represent God with, with I, I'm a soldier of the cross, and then you cut. No, take that, go back in your car, take the shirt, turn it off, turn it on the wrong side, and tell them that's a new style you got. But don't go... Representing Christ, cutting up and using all, don't, don't, be spiritually conditioned to handle the situation. Spiritual condition. <coughs> oh yeah, my time getting close. We, 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 we getting close, we getting close. We done done the hard part. When we look at this thing in, in verse, he say, verse 26, he say, therefore run, not as uncertainty, so fight. I, not as one that bear, beat the air. It's not like you're doing it for nothing. He said, you, 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 know, you know how many fights you can win? All of them. Fight the air. If you fight the air, you're going to win every time. You, 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 you fight in the air. And that's what, when, when we try to fight Satan without the power of God, that's what you call yourself doing. You fight in the air. You, and what? You lost again. You lost your temper. You lost again. You got angry, you lost again. You didn't do what God said, you lost again. And Satan going to constantly remind you, you messed up again. You messed up again. I thought you believed God was going to fix that. Look what you're doing, you're fixing it yourself. You messed up again. He constantly, because he said, if you fight the air, you, you, you can tell you, oh, I, I, I don't want, but the air's still there. You ain't knocked nothing out. You, you ain't knocked nothing out. When you get through, take a deep breath. You're going to get some air. You, you're, not, you're not winning. He's saying, look, you can win this crown. It's not like beating that. He said, but you're striving. You got to be in condition. <coughs> Excuse me. Then he says, but I keep under my body and bring it to subjection, lest by any means when I have preached to others, I myself should be a castaway. That word castaway is disqualified. Yes, sir. Now, you don't train for 12 years as a Christian. Now, if you just became a Christian last week, last month, you can get ready to lose some battles. But you got to learn how to take this thing and get some training. And that's how you're going to win. But now, when you've been a Christian 25 years, 30 years, and you've been in the race that long and come to find out you've been disqualified. You run, you come out what you think is first. You want to throw your hands up and say, where my trophy? And when they look at the, well, let's play the tape again. Oh, see you stepped out of bound right there? You see you crossed in somebody else's lane right here? You've been disqualified. 25 years of Sir, now, you, you, don't get me wrong, you didn't lose your soul. You still say yes, you just ain't got no crown. You, you just don't have no crown. You don't have a reward. And you look at that and say, 30 years doing this and I don't have a crown? And think about Paul. Paul, he wrote Romans, wrote two-thirds of the, the, uh, the New Testament. All the epistles. He, he, Paul, Paul writing and doing all this thing. Paul was so close to God that God took him to a place, the third heaven, that he couldn't even tell us about. He said it was unlawful for him to speak of. And the same Paul is saying, I have to be careful in this race lest I get disqualified. What about you? What would disqualify you in this race? 
Would it be the way you cheat, treat your children? The way you treat your neighbor? You know what God said about love? He said, love God. Love your neighbor as you love yourself. Why are you going to put neighbors in there? I don't know who my neighbor could be. Somebody can move over there. Move. Well, I don't want them to move by my house. I like, it. I like being in a country with nobody around. So, but if they move in, I, 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 you tell them I got to love them and I don't know who they're going to be? Yeah. That's what he's saying. Lest I be a castaway. Now, how many of y'all saw the movie Castaway? Yeah, you, you, you saw it? What's it? Who was that, Tom Hanks? Tom Hanks went crazy. He was in love with a, a, a volleyball. <laughs> Pulled volleyball, went in the water. He about to drown himself, go and get the thing. Man, that's a volleyball. That's, I don't know you named it Lucy or whatever, but that's a ball. But he, read it, he, he trying to go after it. That was his trophy. What, you, what would you do to go after your trophy? We should be able to be willing to lay down our life for our crown. Because we, 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 to get the crown, guess what? You got to lay down your life for your friends. You got to be able to love somebody enough to put yourself second. That, that's, that's how we used to define joy. Jesus first, others second, and yourself last. I don't know what we would spell. What's Y, y O J? <laughs> we gonna be first. Others can be second. We we'll put Jesus last because Jesus, he he powerful. He, he he can move away. What's wrong with us? That we would disqualify ourselves when we have all of heaven at our hand. What, what would make you disqualify yourself? Would it be your temper? Somebody told you no and you went off? What, what would make you be, disqualify yourself? I don't like what mama said. You know, you know when we was coming up, what, what parents used to tell us, and some of us old enough, to, they're they going to remember, they used to say, don't do as I do, do as I say. What kind of stuff is that? I'm going to tell you what the right thing to do, but I'm going to do the wrong thing. But don't do what I'm doing. You do the right thing. Do, enjoying the wrong thing. I look like I'm going to try to enjoy the wrong thing. That was crazy, but that's what, that's what they told us. Christ saying, don't do as I, just, don't do just as I say, do as I do. That's why he came, he said, I'm going to show you what to do, and then I'm going to leave the information how to do it. And here we got a God that's saying, this is what to do. I need you to love everybody. Well, I don't know how. Let me show you how to love. He go love, he, he, he meet a woman at a well that nobody want to be around. He, a woman caught in adultery. Yes, he, he, a, a man, a man crippled him. He, he didn't make no exceptions of it. He said, I'm going to love them all. So we don't have an excuse. I should have put love on my list. But we don't have no excuse not to love when he doesn't show us how to love. And that was, that was, that was the, big, the big thing about love. How do you love if you never saw it? You never saw how to, and, and we deal with this in, in, in marriage. If you didn't come up in a, a husband, a mom and daddy home, you don't know how to run a mom and daddy home. You just, mama say whatever mama say we do it. And then you marry a man that don't want to do that. Yeah, no, no. And you, he looking at you and say, mama said do that because I, I had to do it. But now nah, I'm not, I'm not going to do it. But you want to be the mama too. You know, just do what I say. It ain't going to work. You gotta, we got to be able to show love in spite of what we grew up with because we've been taught by the word of God how to love, how to express those things that we need, and we push away from it. We, he make the road right here, and we step to the side, and then we become disqualified. Don't disqualify. Don't get disqualified. We got to run the race. You're in it, you might as well run it to win. Yes, sir. And it's not like the regular race that one person going to get the crown. We all can get a crown. And, and, and how would that look when not, you look out and everybody got a crown? Everybody crown. And like the Bible said, I don't know what I'll do. It. it might be too heavy for my head. I got a little head. I might take it. I'll just throw it at Jesus. For you. You, can, you can have that because you did it all for me anyway. 
You're the only king I know. And if it wasn't for a king, it wouldn't be me. I, I wouldn't be here. So we got to love how to do it. When you run in your race, and we, 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 we finna go, when you run in your race, you got to run it with patience. You got to look at the other person that's running and encourage them to move on. It, it, it's, not a, it's not a test who's going to get there first. We all going to get there. And, and when you look at I don't want, it's not, I'm going to hold them back. I'm going to trip them. I want to get ahead of them. No, we all run in the same race. You started before me, but that's okay. I can see where you ran at. And I know the ground is good because you didn't stumble when you ran there. And that's what we got to look at. Because you didn't stumble, I'm going to get right in your tracks. I'm going to run right by Because guess what? I'm running for a crown. And he said, what? I'm going to give all of you a crown. It, it's not a competition on the crown. It's a competition of how we love each other. Run the race in love. Run the race in patience. Run the race knowing that there's a reward ahead for you if you don't get disqualified. And never think you can't be. Because if Paul can mention lest I become disqualified. And I love the fact that he started with the preacher. If the preacher get disqualified, that means you can get disqualified. If Paul can say I can be disqualified, then I can be disqualified. But if I keep my eye on the prize and not look at who's ahead of me, who's going faster, but praying that I don't stumble, and I don't get disqualified. Let's stand. We're going to talk about prayer. We mentioned several times about being saved and salvation, and there's a prize. And I'm going to mention again that once you get into Christ, he's not going to let you go. Because he said, whom I hold in my hand, the devil in hell can't pluck him out. And I gave you the scripture about following. If you follow after him, he upholded you with his hand. Who's mightier than our God? There's none. And if I can just stay in his hand, guess what? The race is going to be easy. Why you say that race is going to be easy when, you, when I'm struggling? Because you know you don't want. You already got a crown if you can just stay in his hand. Stay in his hand. I'm not going to disqualify myself by not being faithful. I'm not going to disqualify myself by not being true. I'm not going to disqualify myself by hating somebody that loved me so much. I'm going to stay in his hand. Repeat after me, Father, I'm your child. I accepted you. I believed in you. I admit that I'm a sinner. I fell short. I've done wrong. But I Believe in you, the hand that hold me, the hand that'll lead me, and the hand that'll keep me. God, I put my trust solely in you. Save me and use me. I confess with my mouth that you are my Lord and I am your child. Thank you for saving someone like me. Amen. Amen. Thank God for you. Praise God for you. I pray a blessing over you as you leave this place. Father, you watch over your children. Keep us. Let our homes be better than when we left them. I pray that you keep us. Give us safe passage home. Let us show love. Let us stay in the race. Let us stay winning the crown. Let us trust in you. Let us train and be conditioned to stay as Christians, loving Christ for eternity. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Love y'all.